Mary Meet, Annie here. Community Vlogmas 2019, December 5th. Who are your heroes? Hmm. I do have some heroes in my life. Some people who inspired me by their life story. My grandmother, my Nana, would be number one in my hero list. She was four foot 11. She had an extremely hard life. She worked seven days a week as a butcher. She weighed less than a lot of the car carcasses she had to deal with, and she worked seven days a week when women were not leaving the house to work. She worked from when she was very young. And she did it because she was married to an alcoholic, abusive husband, and someone needed to put food on the table and a roof over the heads of their three children. You know, all the years that my grandfather was alive, I never heard her complain. And actually, she never really did complain, but she did say when he was gone, she was kind of glad it was over. <laughs> She came from a different time, but four foot eleven. She literally had to climb up on step stools in order to do the work that she had to do, and she had multiple sclerosis, and she had some physical deformities. They weren't something you could see, but there were some skeletal problems. Part partly why she was so short. That meant she was in pain a good deal of her life, and she's my hero because. You never knew it. It's not like you didn't know that she had challenges because she was honest about them, but they did not define her. She did not let them define her. She was grace incarnate, I'd have to say. And she was blunt, gave me some of the best advice I ever received in life many times. She was just one of the most beautiful souls I've ever known. Really didn't have a bad word to say about anybody the entire length of her life. I've heard her come close to having a bad word to say about my grandfather after he died. And the only time I actually heard her say anything bad about a person was, unfortunately, the last 10 years of her life, she had to live in a nursing home because her needs were too big for any of us to be able to take care of 24-7. And the minister of her church that she'd gone to for 40 years or so didn't come to the nursing home to bring her communion or to visit her. <laughs> and oh, the things she would say about him. And then there was this wonderful young man from a church that was different than the church she'd been with who came through the ward one day to offer communion and to talk to anybody. And they became such close friends. My grandfather was also a hero of mine. My Nana that I just spoke about was my maternal grandmother. And my Pop Pop was my paternal grandfather. He was a man who literally had no education, but was the wisest man I've ever known. Wise in common sense and also in book learning. A man that man would read and remember and he questioned things, and there wasn't anything he couldn't discuss. He's the one that taught me about magic when I was very, very young. He was second generation Irish American, and whew, the old ways were so much a part of him, even though he acknowledged it as part of his being a Christian. The ways were so much a part of how he related to everything. He was quite the mystic. Quite the mystic. He was an amazing man who taught me something every time I spent time with him, which was a lot. I was present right up to the moment that he passed away with him. And even in that, he taught me. And I think my third hero, no, I think I have four. My third hero was my friend Pearl. Pearl was the mother of my best friend in high school. I spent a lot of time at their house <laughs> to be with my best friend and also because I didn't want to be in my own home. And when my friend went into the Air Force right from high school, I stayed friends with her mother. Um, but it stopped being a friend of my mother 
and it started becoming my friend Pearl. There was a 20 year difference in our ages, but together we were. <laughs> we were the dynamic duo if there ever was one. Pearl was English and she was a war bride from World War II. And she, she had a, an interesting childhood. The, the village that she lived in was bombed and all but three of the children in her classroom, so it was like 40 some kids were killed in one event. And her life was like, all, her life had these dramatic, unbelievable moments. But she stayed so pragmatic and down to earth and no nonsense. She was the kind of friend that would tell you we were full of shit so fast. <laughs> oh my. And I remember, you know, this is a woman who was 20 years older than I and in some ways, not only just more experienced, but more sophisticated in many ways than I was. I remember when she met one of the men who was going to become my husband. And she told me that um, she didn't blame me for wanting to jump in the sack with him. She would too, but I shouldn't marry him. <laughs> she was right, by the way. She passed from breast cancer. And, oh God, just so young, so young. I was late 40s, I guess, when that happened. Every day I still hear her voice, either encouraging me or telling me I'm full of it. Yeah. And my fourth hero was my former husband, Jim. Jim was a Vietnam vet, twice over Vietnam vet, who the last time they sent him back, he was in the hospital for a year and a half because of injuries to learn to walk again. Jim was a beautifully tormented soul. He was just hmm, one mess of a human being. His life had been traumatic. His experience in Nam was very traumatic. He dealt with substance abuse. He was a raving alcoholic. Why is he my hero? I think because of just those moments when I saw him try so hard to be present in the world. The moments when he opened his heart and was vulnerable, just, I've never seen such a bright light when it wasn't hidden, when he didn't choose to hide it within himself. He was the great love of my life, even though I had to choose to end our relationship. It wasn't possible to live with him in the end. He's gone now. And maybe because he's gone now, I can think more about why he was my hero. I think he was my hero because he fought life the entire length of his life. His story was unbelievable the entire length of his life. And then Nam just kind of did him in. I'm sure some of you watching this have had friends, family members, or heard stories about that kind of thing. I think he was my hero because he survived as long as he did. And maybe perhaps he selfishly was, he was my hero because I think he had the most influence on me of any soul I have come in contact with in this world. It's nice to share these four people with you. My Pop-Pop, my Nana, Pearl, and Jim. I wish you all mirth and reverence. Merry part. <laughs>